Hey, what is up, guys? Are you guys still trying to find a drone that is both affordable but packed with features? But you might be thinking to yourself, Oh, DJI might be releasing a new model soon. Maybe call the DJI Mavic 2. But let me tell you this. It is rumored to cost up to $12.99 for just the aircraft itself. However, the good news is, DJI Mavic Air Fly More Combo is currently on discount and it is the best bang for your buck right now. In this video, I will expose my totally honest product review without any of the baloney and help you decide whether to cope this or wait for the future model. But first, let's roll the intro. It's your boy Close Tam, aka the eShop Guinea Pig, and today it's a pretty big day. Cuz it's no more Close Batman YouTube videos anymore. Bam, bam, bam! But we took a more professional route into making product reviews. Today, we're gonna be reviewing the DJI Mavic Air Fly More Combo. But talk about professionalism. I don't even have that thing on me right now. Oh, the DJI Mavic Air! But let's not talk about the product itself. Let's talk about have you subscribed this channel? Cause if you haven't subscribed this channel, please hit the subscribe button and check that bell for me. Thank you. Cause I'll be posting weekly product review videos on Chinese merch, such as from Taobao, DHGate, and AliExpress. Mainly focus on the media creation niche. And tell you whether these Chinese merch are just useless or pretty legit. So I'm kinda like the Chinese merch police. But Back to the main thing, the DJI Mavic Air, as the Chinese merch police, is this thing pretty useful or just hype? Starting at just $799 for just the aircraft itself, it is definitely a better deal to purchase the DJI official Fly More Combo since it's another $200 and you can have two extra batteries, extra propellers, and a fancy looking bag. Also a battery hub and extra joysticks. However, wait till the very end of this video where I expose where the cheapest place to get the aircraft online with a lot more accessories and goodies included. Jumping straight into the features, I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with it. Let's start with the camera itself. The camera could do some serious damage with 4K, 30, 25, and 24 frames per second recording at 100 megabytes per second bitrate. 2.7K with a max frame rate of 60 frames per second, 180 and 720p both have the max frame rate of 120 frames per second, so no problem to buttery smooth slow motion. The aircraft also includes 3 axis gimbal to make sure shaky footages are out the window. It features a 12 megapixel camera for still images capable of capturing raw photos. The upside of the camera is video quality is absolutely stunning, especially in 4K. Capable of capturing raw photos, which allows much more space to be edited in post. Slow motion looks buttery smooth and it is able to capture time shot, which you could do drone hyperlapses. The downside is, it's enabled to shoot log footage during video mode. It's only able to shoot in decent light, which still does the job pretty well. However, low light is horrible. ISO 400 would already make the footage noisy, so avoid shooting places without much light. Aperture is a fixed 2.8, which is not a big deal when shooting landscapes. Also, the gimbal and the aircraft won't be able to sustain in strong wind condition, so stick to the wind speed in the manual and fly safe. I predict the rumored Mavic 2 will have 60 frames per second for 4K and definitely a better low light capability. But don't hold my words to it. The aircraft, which is almost palm size, is perfect for traveling. The four propellers can be easily folded Coming in three different colors, the Flame Red, Omnix Black, and Arctic White. I personally like the red more, since it's a gloss finish, while the other two colors are matte finishes. 
The aircraft also have an internal storage of 8 gigabytes. So if you forget your fast micro SDs, you're still good. Sensors are installed at the front, bottom, and also back to avoid collision. However, the downside is these sensors aren't on the side, which is riskier to perform panning shots near obstacles. The Mavic Air also doesn't have quiet propellers like the Mavic Pro Platinum does, which will annoy some users during takeoff and landing phase. In my opinion, quiet propellers would be definitely implemented in the rumored Mavic 2. When it comes to battery and flight time, the Mavic Air only does a fair job. DJI says the Mavic Air could go for 20 minutes. However, you should expect to start the homing process after 15. If the aircraft is fairly close to your position, 18 minutes would do, and give yourself around 2 minutes to fly back. The battery hub included in the Fly More Combo Pack could charge up to 4 batteries, but not at once. The hub will prioritize the battery with the most energy left to ensure you to be able to use it ASAP. A full charge goes for around an hour, which is pretty darn fast if you ask me. If you want solely longer flight times, you would have to go to the Mavic Pro or wait for the Mavic 2, which is rumored to have up to 32 minutes of flight time. Lastly, we gotta have to talk about the controller and the connectivity of the drone. The controller, which has two detachable joysticks, is excellent for storing. Unless you're a super clumsy guy, these joysticks fit tightly under the arms. The buttons are also sturdy and easily reached. The gimbal dial also turns smoothly, giving you no issue in generating cinematic shots. The battery of the controller is super durable. It takes up to 10 to 12 flights even to start worrying about charging it. However, the controller is not very user friendly when it comes to connecting it to your phone and charging. The iPhone connector always comes out of its rail. This is why I detached the slide completely, making it so much easier to plug in my phone. The connectivity is also an issue. It uses an enhanced Wi-Fi link, which is not the same OcuSync radio link on the Mavic Pro. This affects users that fly within dense areas such as me. Flying it in Hong Kong, packed with skyscrapers, always comes with radio interference and signal loss, which is extremely annoying. I mostly use the 5.8 GHz channel since it gives me more stable connections and can reach up to 730 meters without signal loss. The 2.4 GHz channel did poorly, which only reaches around 300 meters at most and loses its signal. Bottom line, the Mavic Air is the best bang for your buck if you're a beginner filmmaker like me. The price tag sticks between the Spark and the Mavic Pro, but surpassed the ability of the Mavic Pro in my opinion. The video quality of these bad boys are absolutely amazing, giving you cinematic footage no problem. Not to mention its portability which lets you fly whenever and wherever. Most of the cons are bearable and doesn't destroy the experience. The rumored Mavic 2, which will be priced at least $12.99, are more suitable for professional filmmaker which has more money to spend. The Mavic Air on the other hand is an all around device with extreme portability, superb video and image quality. If you're skeptical about the flight time, just strap on the combo pack with two more extra battery included giving you up to an hour of flight time. If you're a beginner filmmaker hoping to have the best drone on the market, I suggest you to click the link below and order it right now. The Mavic Air Fly More Combo is the best bang for your buck even when the Mavic 2 comes out. Since you're getting portability and stunning footage in one body and the Mavic Pro couldn't beat that at all. Once again, if you're ready to experience what the Mavic Air could provide, Click the link in the description box below to order the Mavic Air Fly More Combo Pack for the lowest price available today with extra goodies. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to comment below, thumbs up, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly product reviews just like this. Your support is hugely appreciated. 
because it motivates me to keep on making videos and build a reliable community to ensure you to not get scammed when buying products online. Last but not least, follow my Instagram since I'll be doing giveaway really soon and you will be the first to be notified. Thank you for watching this video till the very end. Peace out and see you guys next time.